Let's talk about warrior tanks, why you should play them, what they're like, what you get when you play them, and how you should play them. We're going to drill into all those concepts here in this video so that you're prepared for your Dragonflight adventure as a warrior. Warriors are World of Warcraft's premier tanking class. Since back in the old days of stacking sunders, warriors have been some players' go-to tank class since Classic. This class is fantastic for its array of tanking capabilities and general support that it can supply to your team. Roars, Shouts, Stomps, and Blocks are the name of the game when you're playing the Warrior Tank class. Warriors have a unique resource system that's called Rage. If you're new to the game, Rage is generated either through taking or dealing damage. As you build up Rage, your other abilities will unlock and be able to be utilized. Each ability will have a different amount of rage cost or may increase your rage so that you can use other abilities. When playing a warrior tank, you're going to be using shield slam to generate yourself rage. And then you're going to be spending that rage on two different things. One is on damage mitigation and the other is on threat generation and damage. So you're going to have to balance between how much damage you're taking and how much threat you're generating to play ideally as a warrior. Warrior's damage is not insignificant, so the damage you can push out can help a lot in taking down bosses and making sure your group or raid is effective. On the mitigation side, you're going to be doing two types of mitigation. One is shield block. That's going to increase the amount that you block per hit, and is going to be excellent for targets that hit rapidly or for smaller hits. Also, it'll be really good against multiple targets. The other mitigation is ignore pain. Ignore pain is going to reduce a chunk of amount of damage that you're going to take so it's going to be like a sh small health buff or a small shield that will resist some of the damage that you take this is really going to be good for massive hits and magical damage on the dealing damage side revenge is going to be your go-to for most scenarios you're going to be hitting multiple targets with this and doing a good chunk of damage for 30 rage cost you can, of course, use Slam, but that is going to deal less damage for 20 Rage. You can use Rend. Rend is going to be excellent on a single target. Keeping that bleed on a target is going to be a lot of damage. If you can get Rend on multiple targets, which can be done really easily by a Talon and Thunderclap, you'll be able to get long-lasting bleeds on a lot of opponents, which generates a huge amount of threat and damage. Once your opponent is lower health, Execute is going to start coming into play. So if you are against a large single target, you may want to switch over to start casting Execute once you are hitting them at low health <laughs> instead of using Revenge. Execute will do a massive amount of damage, but will consume quite a bit of your rage. Don't forget to keep your mitigation abilities up even when the target is at low health. You might find yourself dying if you get too focused on executing. Warriors are one of the most mobile tank classes. With things like Heroic Leap, Charge, and Intervene, you can get around the battlefield quite quickly. Becoming proficient at this is going to be key to utilizing your warrior to its highest degree. Warriors do not specialize at ranged threat generation. With very limited tools to generate threat at a far distance, and most of them being locked behind talents, that you might not be taking because of more useful options for a majority of the time, you're going to find your ranged tanking capabilities a little bit limited. But you'll make up for that in extremely high melee threat generation. Warriors have a large array of short, medium, and long cooldown mitigation abilities to help your healers out keeping you alive. Shield Wall will reduce all damage taken significantly. Spell Reflect will send enemy spells back at them. And Rally and Cry will increase your entire party or raid's hit points by 15%. Healers will love you using this at high stress moments. Warriors provide one of the unique raid buffs in 5% attack for all allies with Battle Shout. This will guarantee you a raid spot if your raid does not have another shouter. So if you like roaring, jumping, smashing, and spilling the blood of your enemies across the battlefield, Warrior might just be the class for you.